Hey everyone, it's your Sally Coach, and in this video we're going to be covering an extreme difficulty complete Klamar cipher. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is count how many letters we have in our cipher text. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 56 total characters. So once we know that we have 56 total characters and we don't have any X's in this text, even if we had one X, we would still go with this strategy because again, we not, we're not exactly sure if that X is filler letter or if it's just part of the text. But since we don't have any X's, we're just gonna go straight to our arrays. So some of the arrays we can make are like seven by eights, maybe eight by seven, and then like 14 by four, 4 by 14 and then that's pretty much it we have like 28 by 2 and stuff but that just doesn't really make sense because we always want to go for the two numbers that are closest to each other so we can cross out 2 by 28 28 by 2 all of those and then we can also cross out 14 by 4 because we know one rule that we can't have any um, amount of columns outside of the range of 4 to 9 that's a rule that's part of the Codebusters manual to where we need to have four to nine columns no matter what. So now that we have that done, let's also try crossing out four by 14 to get the closest amount of letters and we can go back to this one if we need to. <clears throat> so first we can try eight by seven. Eight columns, seven rows. So that means we need to split it up into segments of eight letters. So we have five, and then we have three. So we're going to split it up at this A right here. And then we have that H, I. So that's going to be two plus five. Uh, two plus five is seven. Seven plus one is eight. So then we have four plus four, which is this four plus this four. And then we have one plus five, six. Six plus two, eight. Three plus five, eight. Five plus three is eight right here. And then three plus five, eight. So now that we have it all split up, let's put our starting letters to the side, which are L, H, um, N, E, and then T, O, Y. So using this, we can see that we have some words that are really easy to see, such as let, this one is pretty easy to find out. We have let's, and then we can have the leftover letters O-Y, and then N-H, which can't really come together that well. We may try some other words, such as only, because this O-Y, the N, L, it all fits together really well. So we can try only. And then we have the leftover letters T-E-H, which can be unscrambled to the. So this is probably it, only the or the only. We're not exactly sure which one comes first. So we would look at the secondary letters in each column. We're going to start with these columns and then go on from there. So the secondary letter in the O segment is I. Um, the secondary letter in the N segment is T. Only the IT, that doesn't really make much sense so far. Um, I didn't miss a letter, so we can try going for L next. Only the ITT, Y to O. Um, then we have T to what? T to L. And then we have H. I and we have lastly EM only the that doesn't really make much sense right but now if we try the only we would have L I M I T T O so only the Lin it O yeah only it would instead be the, I got this part of the text by just swipping over only in the, so I'd have the going to this part, so the only limit to, and so on. So we found that 
this works right here. That um, eight by seven works completely fine. Eight by seven? No, seven by eight. Yes, yeah, seven by eight works great. But now let's see how it would work if we had a different one, right? What if we tried for eight by seven first? How would we do? It? So we would cut away one back from this black. So it would start right here. To, and we would get eight at the start. And then after that, three plus four. So one right here. And then we have one plus five, which is six. Six plus one right here. And then we have four plus three right there. We have two plus five is seven. So right here. And then we have five plus two, seven. Three plus four. And then seven. So that would give us the letters of L, um, A, D, S, T, I, um, R, and O. So this doesn't really make too many good words. Like we can see that we have the word sailor. So if I start crossing off the letters of sailor, we have D and T left, which doesn't really make sense to start a new word. We also have like a radio in here, which gives us STL, which also doesn't really make much sense. And then we have like dilator, D-I-A-L-O-T-R, like dilators. And then after that, the next word would be after D, it would be, where is it? It'd be like dilators and then... After the D, it would be that. After the I, we would get the letter O, and it just would not make sense. So if we do have one of those scenarios, you could easily see where it just wouldn't make sense because you can't find out those letters extremely fast. So now we can write out our original ones and have the only and write out the rest of the cipher. So we have the words the only... And we would follow the black lines because that's from our 7x8 original. So the only, and that gives us, what, T, and then, no, that's from red. So we have this one right here, T, L, O, I, O, R, R, O. And then, so we can cross out this section right here. And now we have H. So we're going to look for our H segment, which is right here. Which gives us H, I, U, Z. And then F, O, D. D. And that's an E. Let me fix that D actually. And then we have the E segment. So I'll cross this one out right here. We have E, which is right here. E, M, R, A, and then T, W, O, T. After that, we get O. So O is going to be where? O is right here. O, L, N, R, U, S, uh, O, L, N, R, U, S, Y. Oh, no, that's the red one. Sorry about that. This is actually the Y section. O, L, N, R, U, S, Y. And now we can actually go to the O section, which is where? That's the L. This is the O right here. So O, I, R, T, O, I, U, O. Next is going to be N, which is right here. N, T, E, 
i m s b d and lastly we have the l l t a o o t a and then i i think i wrote that wrong again i missed one o S o t a sorry about that it's pretty hard to see with the red and blue usually i would erase it all since we have pencil and paper but it's pretty hard to erase with these extra ciphertext. So we would get the quote, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow is our doubts. Um, oh, that's an F of today. So that's gonna be it for the complete columnar cipher without any X's, without any keywords. And before I end it off, I just want to say that this one requires a lot of trial and error, a lot of dominating through the cipher, a lot of descrambling. So I require, usually with me and my partners, that I need a little bit of help trying to descramble a word because it's much easier for someone new to find a word really fast if they haven't seen it. So if you are having trouble trying to descramble this like top row of letters, I say talk to your partner and try to see if they can get it or not so that you can solve this much quicker. So that's going to be it for the video. And if you look to the left, you can see the rest of my channel, look at my other ciphers and even more based on other information of events. And on the right, you can go and see my other Columnar videos. So thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.